Hi, this is Drew Slocum with Inspect Point here at the Victaulic facility in Easton, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to be talking about the Victaulic 768N Firelock dry pipe valve. Uh, I want to go over a bunch of the key features and really the, some of the key uh, inspection, testing, and maintenance features of it as well. Um, with the new 768N, there's um, on this side, on the left side of the valve here, we have all of our air pressure uh, components of the valve. So it's it's all on one side, very easy to read. We've got our high-low air pressure uh, up here. We've got our air pressure gauge here. One one quick thing to note on the Victaulic dry pipe valve, the set point is 13 psi. That's pretty critical because whatever water pressure we're getting from the street, whether it's water hammer or just regular street pressure, we're going to be set at 13 pounds. That's also matters if you're getting water hammer um, through the back of the valve, it's going to put whatever pressure back on that diaphragm chamber in the back, holding the clapper down. So that is a big advantage to this 768N firelock valve. Uh, on this side of the valve over here, other than the air on the left side, on the right side we have our, our water pressure. We have our water pressure gauges, uh, and then we have our water pressure switch over here. Basically, that's the operation of the 768N. Uh, I'm going to, in a couple moments, we're going to go into some ITM components, some of the uh, specific features of the 768 to show you what they've come out with. All right, we're back taking a look at the 768N Victaulic NXT dry pipe valve. A few of the uh, key components on the inspection, testing, and maintenance side. Uh, one great feature is every casting part of the trim, we've got, it, it's cast right into the actual uh, fitting of what and where it's supposed to be piped to. So that's a great feature. I've never really seen that in any, any other valve. Um, Another great feature are these all-in-one cartridge strainers. We've got one up top here in the air and one back here on the, uh, on the water side. These are easily replace replaceable. Throw a few of them in your truck, leaving them on site. Quickly cleaned and replaced. And they actually fit on every size dry valve. So um, that's a great feature. We're going to move over to the, uh, the diaphragm. We're here back looking at the 768N uh, Firelock NXT valve. Uh, looking at the diaphragm chamber on the back of the dry pipe valve, there's a rubber diaphragm in here that's going to keep our clapper closed. So if I turn around the cutaway here, as we put water pressure coming from the street on the diaphragm, it actually keeps the, the, the clapper closed. So if we are getting any excess water hammer or water pressure from the street, it's going to keep that closed and keep uh, our dry pipe valve from tripping. Uh, one quick note, on any rubber uh, gasketed items in any dry pipe system, you want to replace those every, or inspect those every five years. Most manufacturers recommend replacing those. Uh, Victaulic's actually got a five-year rebuild kit with the diaphragm chamber itself, the clapper gasket, the faceplate gasket, and a few other rubber components. Um, quick plug for inspect point, you can throw that right into a proposed correction right on the iPad so when your technicians are out inspecting for five-year dry pipe valve inspections, they can add that quickly to their to-do list and off to the next valve. Thanks for joining today and uh, see you guys again next time.